Well, if you remember the hill where I called in those two jakes, we got up to the top of that, but we're coming in a different way. Should be a shorter walk, but it's kind of unknown here, so hopefully it's not too terribly thick. Dang, it is windy this morning. Like, way too windy. Well, we got rain coming in, but I was hoping to be a little more calm. Uh, here goes nothing. All these hills, and the only thing I can hear is wind in my ears. They do not seem to be gobbled. I can hear, I've heard a couple of chickens and a dog and a goose. A farm goose, not even a real goose. Well, we walked all the way up here to hear nothing, but sunrise was nice. We got rain coming in a few hours. I think it's going to be one of those ride around and check fields kind of days. Well, I just got here to this spot, and there's like one or two sets of tire tracks, but a hen just flew out of the tree. So far, the weather's a lot nicer than forecast. We're still gonna do some field peeking and calling, of course. We'll hit the call every now and again, see if we can get a gobble. I'll hit the call when I get back closer to the woods. There's a little bit of scratch here. I'm gonna sit down on this tree and call and, and listen for a few. There's a field out there and there's fields out that way. We're in this little patch of woods here. See if anything responds. They've been quiet for like 25 minutes. I was about to say I'm gonna get up and peek the field, but he just gobbled. I believe he is in the next field. He's probably got hens. You can hear that weather starting to blow in. Let's pick up and move, see if we can get eyes on him. We got some thick cover in these woods. We're gonna need it. He's up there somewhere. He's in that field for sure. In fact, he ignored me. I think he's got hens. about at it with deer this year. <laughs> I 
I think he's headed off into the next field, but I'm not sure he's only gobbled twice in 45 minutes. Second time he gobbled was more that way, and that's more towards the next field, so uh, if I can make sure he's not in this field, I can drop back into the holler and get around into the next field, creep up in there and see if I can do something with him there. I think he's down that way. The hen is this way. I can't see her right now. She's down there in that bottom. I have not seen him. He could be in the woods too, but I don't know where he is. I wish he would gobble a little more. Seems like the hen has disappeared. Uh, she might be working on a nest, but I did not see anything with her. Probably is working on a nest. We're gonna creep down the edge through the woods. See if we can get eyes on something, or maybe hopefully he'll gobble again. I just flushed a turkey right here. I couldn't tell if it was a gobbler or not. I mean, isn't this thick stuff? I think it might have been a hen nesting. I'm not sure where this bird went or if I spooked him or if the deer spooked him or if he's just hanging out in the woods there. But uh, starting to sprinkle a little bit. I'm gonna go back to the truck. It's supposed to rain some and then let up this afternoon. Be good to walk these fields, hit a call after the rain lets up. Well, it rained some, got me a little nap, and uh, everything's cleared up now. We might have more rain coming, it just depends how it hits, but I think the rain's pretty much done for the day. We're walking some different fields. I'm gonna end up back where that bird was if I don't get into anything over here, but I figured I'd check these while, while I was here. crow just started calling a bird gobbled down there I was literally just about to pick a spot to set up in between these two fields let's go try these cedar trees kind of sounded jakey I'm not gonna get too excited but something gobbled down there Big fan of her. 
I'm sitting. We may need to get up right behind this pile of brush. So far, they're still around the corner out of sight. There's a hen yelp, so that explains why the gobblers didn't come running in. kind of sort of feeding this way. He's about 60, 70 yards out. I'm gonna let him close in to 30. Hopefully, hopefully they work this way. I know they heard me and apparently their hen left them or they left their hen. I don't know. I never saw her. But uh, I lost the skinny beer bird. The big beer bird is still within sight. I'm looking at him right now through the brush.
There's a dust bowl. I didn't want to spook off those other birds because I want to come back tomorrow. See if I can get a buddy out here and we can try to double. If not, I'll come out here myself and try to tag out. But with all those other longbeards, I didn't want them to go flying all over the place. Private property's over that way. We got the wad. There he is. What a pretty bird. That's a big one, too. Look the mooks. Good bird. Luckily for that, thankfully for that crow, luckily for me, he gobbled, or they gobbled. And the other two went off that way, and they're not too spooked. They're going to hang around. We'll probably try to get back on them tomorrow. But for now, let's get him checked in. Y'all, it's a heavy bird. Remind me when I get home to weigh him. I've got a scale at home somewhere. He's over. Uh, I checked him in as 22 pounds, but he may be a little heavier than that. Or maybe it's just my gun on top of the bird that's weighing me down. I don't know. He's a big boy. One spurs under an inch, the other one's over an inch. Um, I figured he's a two-year-old. I saw the short spur. I don't really know or care if he's a two-year-old. He's a dead-year-old. I shot half of his beard off too. Like, yeah, a good chunk of his beard is gone. It took a pellet. It's all right. Well, thanks y'all for watching. I will catch you again soon.